Colobus monkeys are old world monkeys that live in Africa. The most commonly known is Colobus guerza, which is the species that is housed here at the St. Louis Zoo. There are five different species. One of them is the Angolan colobus monkey that I'll be studying for this project. This species is really interesting because it's very diverse. It has between six and eight different subspecies, so there's a, a large range of diversity um, even within the species itself. They live in the coastal forests in southern Kenya and throughout Tanzania in the Eastern Arc Mountains and Southern Highlands. A lot of their habitat is fragmented. Some of that fragmentation is from long ago due to climatic changes during the Pleistocene, and some of it is due to anthropogenic disturbance, such as deforestation and agriculture. One of the questions is whether the animals in between Kenya and Tanzania represent one subspecies that just has a range of variation across that habitat that they have, or whether they actually are two distinct subspecies. And so this will help us resolve that question. We have the fun job of isolating DNA from fecal samples, and this allows us to access wild populations without dramatically interfering with them because um, we can have them drop a sample for us, we collect it without ever having to touch them or anesthetize them. And we use these fecal samples as a source of DNA and estimate um, how different or similar, how related those populations are. Being a part of this collaboration between the St. Louis Zoo and Washington University will provide an opportunity for us to discover new genetic information. Regardless of the subspecies designation that we ultimately um, are able to resolve, that genetic information will be useful in conservation.